Welcome, everybody, to the Life is Strange Epilogue, chapter two today. Wow, what a chapter. A lot happened. A lot could have happened, and I think a lot more could have gone wrong. And I did okay. Ken, how'd you do? I am very grainy on YouTube. Is that how I look in Discord? No, I think you're totally fine. Well, why on YouTube am I coming across as so grainy? Oh, I don't know. I, haven't, I don't have layer. the YouTube link pulled up, but I can. <laughs> I don't I don't have the link pulled up, so I can't see it. So I don't I don't know. I'm so sorry. But on my video, you look nice. OK, well, on YouTube, I don't. But I guess I don't care too much. So are you sure it's on like that's... I'm 100 percent on YouTube? That's how I'm viewing it. You gave me the link. Maybe you're just, you think you're great, like out of focus? Like you're uh, just like res is low? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It could just be because um, Discord doesn't like to capture it very well, maybe. Um, here. Look. What about yesterday? Was it the same yesterday? Leave the call all the way. <laughs> um, let me just do this. Perfect. How about this? Hello and welcome everybody. Sorry, apparently I thought th I thought we had it today. It's okay. Yo, chat. Ugh, what a day. Am I right? What a day. I just can't believe a lot of things that happened. He got real crazy in there. Like, real crazy! Yes. Okay, I saved the checklist as I do. Let Same. us see. First question. You're Did not... you tell Kate? Oh, hang on, what? hang on. I don't have your camera pulled up now. Um, it says my camera's turned on in no, Discord. No, 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 you I'm... do, you do. I, it, for some uh... reason, when you turn your camera off, it, like, <clears throat> turned... See, now you're... Now you look... Like your resolution's back. What did you just change? I turned off the virtual webcam and turned on the regular cam. Interesting. And I'm not looking at it through Discord. I'm looking at YouTube, the live YouTube. Well, you're not anymore because you're not, I'm not broadcasting you anymore. I know, but like I was, and that was the difference. Okay. Mm. Stand that. All right, there you go. Got you. Welcome back. <laughs> Perfect. I'm trying to get to my, uh... I think that chapter could have gone sideways easily as well. I was actually quite nervous. Um, I have to, Kenzie, tell me, did, is Kate alive? Um, so, so going through the checklist of the big events from episode two, the very first question was, did you tell Kate to go to the police or did you tell her to wait for more proof? I told her to do? wait for more proof. Okay. I you... also did that. Okay. Cool. We make a lot of the similar choices here. The very next one is, did you answer her phone call? I did not. You didn't answer her phone call. You were in the bottom 18% of I people did who not didn't answer, answer yeah, her yeah. call. I, so I answered it and then I heard what she had to say and she just sounded like, she wanted me to like not to forget something. I couldn't hear what she was saying, but my reaction to it didn't seem all that crazy. So I went back and ignored it because Chloe had a huge reaction to it and she gets into a fight with her mom. So I was like, fuck okay. it, whatever. So I went back, I declined hers and then I lied about it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I did answer her call um, and that was a very frequently chose, chosen option. Um, did you try to shoot Frank? I did. I okay. did try to shoot Frank. And I did it like I was screaming it before I had the option to do it. I was like, shoot him! And then it turns over and she's holding the gun and she's like, what do I do? And I was like, fucking shoot! <laughs> um, so when it gives you that option, I was like, I would like to shoot him. So I'm going to choose don't shoot just so that I can see the other option and then rewind and do shoot because I really wanted to shoot him. Uh -huh. But then doing doing the not shoot him option 
Chloe actually was like, oh, I'm actually really glad you didn't, even though you yeah. didn't stay your ground because of that. So then I went back to shoot him. And then it didn't, like, as you know, it didn't, it didn't fire. So then we just embarrassed ourselves and, like, got a bunch of threats by this, like, bad dude. So I actually well, went back again and chose don't shoot. <laughs> like, I did it three times. Oh, I did the exact same thing. I did it three times. I did shoot, don't shoot, and then I chose to shoot. Because oh, my in the, God. Because in the don't shoot, he takes your gun. And Nathan is trying to kill me. I'm getting threatening messages. Like, I think I need a gun in this game. Like, okay. every villain is running around with a loaded weapon. Like, unpopular opinion, guns don't kill people, people kill people. So if you're rolling up with a gun, so am I. Like, fuck you. That's a really good point. Um, the next question was, did you save Kate? I did not save Kate. <gasps> Kate died? Well, oh, actually, it's hilarious because I logged into your stream, like, right when you were getting onto the roof to talk to her, right? And uh -huh. at that point, you were talking about like, well, I, I did, I took a picture and I ignored her phone call. So she's real mad at me. Yeah. And I was like, and I was like oh my God, cause I took her picture, but I answered her phone call and she's still mad at me. And we're up on the roof. And the first four questions in a row were like, what, what, why should I stay alive? We chose the same exact answers, Corey, all the way through. Every answer you chose was the one I chose. And I was like, oh no, she's gonna die. And the very last one about the Bible verses, I yeah. chose the other Bible verse. I actually read her Bible in her room, and that was the Bible verse that was about getting justice. And so I thought that makes sense. She wants justice for like Nathan, make, like you know, vilifying her. I don't... But I forgot that in her Bible, she had circled it, written it on a sticky note, and then she had slashed a marker through that verse. Oh, did she? And the other Bible verse on the other page of her Bible was the other verse, and that but that verse was just like oh, go to God and be at peace. So I didn't want to choose that. I was like, oh, she's going to kill herself and be at peace. Like, I didn't want her to, to kill herself. So, like, I chose the justice one. That was the wrong choice. She was mad about the justice. So you totally saved her life with that Bible verse. Good job. I did. <laughs> well, well, I, I, I did. Well, okay, fine. now that you say that, though, I did pick up her Bible, but I don't go to church. So, like, I didn't read her Bible. You know, I, she made she the... She sticky notes on them, and I, like, I, read yeah. them all. No. Not for, like, as far as, like, my interest goes, I was like, Psh, Bible. <laughs> like, <laughs> I saw the one about justice, and I was like, yeah, fucking, let's get some justice for her, you know? But, like, she was mad about that verse. She wanted to, like, go at, go be with, go be at peace with God. But I didn't choose it because I thought that meant that she would kill herself. But you chose that, and that you was what saved you. Andrea both were like, no, that's the one about, like, committing suicide. <laughs> and you're like... That was, verse literally is like, go lay down with Christ. Like, it's a death sentence if you ask anybody, any logical person who knows the If you knew what those two verses were, you would not have chosen that one. You would have chosen the other one about Jesus. I, I didn't know anything I about know. Jesus. I was like, the right one, and she lived, and I'm so upset. I can't <laughs> believe I saved her. Like, holy oh shit. I was like, God. I made every wrong decision before this moment. And she's like, why didn't you answer my call? I'm like, it was on silent. It's fine. I would have answered. You ignored her call. Then you, then you lied to her about it. And then you didn't even know any of her Bible verses. So you randomly picked her favorite Bible verse somehow luckily. And she decided not to kill herself. It's like, the fucking oh, hat God. trick to save Kate's life. Oh, it's so <laughs> hi, Court. Hi, Jerry. What's up, you guys? That Welcome, Bible guys. Verse was oh, bullshit. my God. What a bullshit. crazy episode. Dude, okay. I saved Kate. I don't know how. I don't understand how Kate's alive. Like, holy shit. But Kenzie, Kenzie did not save her. The one I who answered her phone call. I listened to her complain. <laughs> Chloe got mad at me for doing it. I like risked the wrath of my best friend, Chloe. <sighs> it was not on silent. You oh, are a liar. Okay. It's so much <laughs> Okay, and then the last one that's like a big decision is who did you blame at the end? Who I blamed David. Okay, the creep that you had proof of? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that's, I was like, A, I'm still trying to sleep with Mr. Robinson. B. Jefferson. Uh, but whatever. whatever. <laughs> no, you, that was intentional. Um, Nathan is a fuckboy and I'm taking him down. And I don't want him to think that I'm coming after him. I want him to be weary of me. But he's going down. So I don't want to, like, get into the first room and be like, it was him! You know? Like, I wanted to, like, start getting distracted with other villains. And then, coming for you, Nathan. 
The chances of doing that with your choices is so low, Corey. You 4%. Of- <laughs> I straight up 4% like Kate straight off the hook, dude. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. How did you feel, like, watching that, knowing you were like, you are like, she's dead. I know Corey's choices. I know what she's been doing. You are like, the same choices as you, except for that one. And then you, and then you saved her, and I was like, fucking, of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. It was on silent! What, okay, so does she, she must not ask you that question if you answer. She's not like, why did you ignore my phone call? Did you get a different question in lieu of that? No, it just wasn't there. I skipped oh, the question. Okay. Yeah, okay, I didn't okay. have to deal with it. She, because because she was like, nobody cares about me, and I was like, I erased that stuff off the mirror for you. I took yep. your phone call earlier. Like, I'm here for you. We're friends. And then two seconds later, she's like, No, no one loves me. And I was like, We just agreed that we're friends. And then you 180'd me. Ugh. I thought that when I say, I was like, Okay, I could feel the tides were turning. I was like, I'm gonna get her off this ledge. And earlier, I picked up her guitar. I sat in my room and played the guitar, and I didn't know where this was going. And I was like, Step back from that ledge, my friend. You can cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. And then, Is like, that really? happened, and I was like, Where's my guitar? <laughs> I don't remember really this song. I didn't pay attention to this song when I played it. I was just like playing it and like not paying attention. <laughs> no, no. I in her room picked up the guitar and I just started singing that. I don't know if that was actually the tune, but like anytime someone just like plays a guitar, that's what I think. <laughs> like, I was like, what the fuck? Oh my God, that's hilarious. It's true, you did have proof for David. I didn't go for David, I blamed Nathan. I just really wanted to get it out there. What happens when you blame Nathan? Um, He gets suspended and he threatens the school with his lawyers, but he gets oh. suspended and kicked out and he has to like leave. <gasps> oh, so some- he actually has consequences if you blame him. Well, so far, there are only short-term consequences. I don't know if they're going to be long-term, because so he's, like, threatening about his lawyers. I said the gun thing to the principal, and the principal went out of his way to text my mom that I was a piece of shit. So, like, round two, principal's like, who was it? And I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? Say Nathan? He's in the room. He's going to be like, so you were there with this, like, wad of cash? Like, that's not what my lawyer said. It's, like, it's true. It's a good point. It's like you already tried to go after him without proof and already got shut down. I just I couldn't bring myself to like throw David under the bus because so far he's just like a bully, but he's not like 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 Nathan would have killed Chloe in that bathroom with that gun. And he sells all these drugs. He gave drugs to Kate without her knowledge, like drugged her up and recorded her. Like Nathan's just a piece of shit. David's kind of a bully, but mostly just like weirdly overprotective and a bit of a creep. It's like, I, I picked Nathan because he still clearly is the worst guy, at least so far. I mean, I don't know why David was creeping in the bushes and taking pictures of Kate. That was weird. I feel but like they're the setting him up. The same thing. The janitor did that. Remember the janitor's closet? He has pictures of Rachel. Everybody oh. on this campus is getting stopped. I never stopped. got to the closet. I never saw his closet. No. The janitor has oh. photos of who? The janitor in the, like, the shed where you turn the water on. Oh, oh, there's a little crate on the ground in there, and it's like Samuel's stuff. And inside it, it's a shit ton of pictures of Rachel, the chick that disappeared. Like he's oh, stalked weird. chicks too. Everybody in the school's a fucking stalker, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, I was like, ever like, I mean, being a stalker isn't the same as like a murderer. Like Nathan almost killed Chloe. Like I just, I wanted to get him out of there. But I mean, who's to say that on the long term it's not gonna bite me in the ass? Because, uh, it stitching Trey on him. Off with her. <laughs> Dre is bad luck. She'd like land on top of her and get out of court for murder. <laughs> She'd survive by landing on her friend who died trying to kill herself. <laughs> okay, did you water your plant? I did! Oh, watered her plant this time. Okay. I thought it was funny that I watered it and then I got a text from mom that was like, hey, hope you're taking care of your plant. Make sure you're watering it, but don't overwater it. And I was like, great. How much fucking is too much water, mom? <laughs> Hang on. How do you, how do you see those? The other ones you're talking about. I can see, like, the five at the end. Um, When you're on that page, you click next. And it takes you to the page of, like, sub-choices. Oh! Okay, okay, cool. Yes, I did water the plant. And I only watered the plant because last time there was a question. So, did you water the plant? Which I know, I... you're like, what plant? Yeah, <laughs> and I so was this like, time, I, <laughs> I was like, sheep. Also, <laughs> I've ignored Alyssa. If anyone's going to kill themselves, it's going to be Alyssa. Like, I've had to save her, like, what, three times now from, like, random flying objects? Like, who the fuck is this bitch? 
Yeah, it's like, dude, I didn't understand. I did help Alyssa. Um, she was, like, getting hit in the head with, like, a toilet paper roll, she right? She got hit with a football in the first chapter. She got yeah. hit with, like, a thing this time. Like, I keep seeing her in the background getting fucked up. <laughs> I never help her. We know. And then at the very end, I walk up to her at a window, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? She's like, I can't talk. I was like, the person who stops, for, like, projectiles from hitting you every fucking time I turn around, you don't have time for me? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all I do is fucking save you from concussions over and over again exactly so that happens right and so i didn't talk to her i, I walked out to her took her photo being sad in the mirror or out the window <laughs> and i was like what's up <laughs> she's like i don't right. want to talk to you and i was like i get it it's fine <laughs> you know, and, I, and i just <laughs> i did i did uh help her but every time that i've done it now i'm like more and more like Girl, you got fucking problems. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I don't know why I keep doing that to her, honestly. Like, I just fuck her up. I, like, I, apparently I just don't like her. Because I'm like, ha <laughs> Like, a bully throwing a football at her, and I'm, like, saving Kate's life and, like, falling in love with Chloe. And I'm like, ha <laughs> Alyssa sucks. Poor Alyssa. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, gonna... Alyssa. I don't know why I'm like this. Okay. What can happen? You have the power to turn back time. She's apparently not worth it to me. I don't know what you want, okay? I uh, just like stacking up karma. Um, did you erase the- you said you erased the link to our video, right? That's the one nice thing you did for yeah. Kate, is you erased that link? Yes, I did do that. I was like, in the shower, I was like, nah, bitch, that ain't staying. Did you see the link? It was like, www.katesvid.com <laughs> Well, I'm in the shower and I'm watching her do this and I was like, my first thought is like, every time I have like a link, a URL link on YouTube, it's like EVJK9800762239. And I'm like, how the fuck does she just know that off the top of her head? So I like, when I started, I was like, oh, because it says Kate's vid. And I could probably remember Ken's vid, you know, yeah. <laughs> as a fucking URL. Fuck you. Like, what a great link. That was, that was, that was complex. <laughs> um, you weren't friendly with Taylor. Who the fuck is Taylor? Hang on. Who's Taylor? Um, did I save... Is Taylor dead? <laughs> I was not friendly with Taylor. I don't know. The... Oh, wait, that's... Is that that chick that's Victoria's friend that was sitting under a tree? Because I walked up to her and I was like, hey, let's chat. And she was like, we're not friends. And I was like, okay, bye. I was like, we're not friends. <laughs> oh, if she's that <laughs> chick, then I walked past her. I was like, fuck you, Victoria Grown. <laughs> like, I, I literally... Think Taylor, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I... She was like instantly rude to me. And I was like, okay, bye. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's too much work. I think that's who that was. Um, you accepted Warren's invitation. Yeah, dude. We're yeah! fucking driving, baby. Warren's my backup. Chloe's my, mm. Chloe's my number one. Warren's my backup. And Mr. Jefferson's the one night stand. Like, it's like, fuck, Mary kill with these guys. Like, <laughs> I got backup plans. Uh, yeah. I love little cute, little geeky Warren who, like, got punched in the face for me. And he's wearing, like, a Schrodinger's cat shirt. And he's, like, rolling around with this, like, black eye, just getting more emo and more hot. I'm so into it. Go to the movies together, watch, like, watch Planet of the Apes and the drive-in. Well, you accept this invitation, and then, like, I don't know, like, an hour in the game, like, not IRL, hour later. But, like, he's, you guys have messaged each other all day. We're best what? friends. Yeah. No, straight up. And now he wants to take me to the drive, and he put his arm around my shoulder. Ah! Wait. Oh, yeah, at the very and end, he's like, I'll get you And I helped him with his science sun. experiment. Did you help him with his science experiment? We'll probably get there. I don't... No, hang on. That's coming up later. We'll get to that. Okay. okay. But, so you accepted Warren's invitation. Did you, you wrote, did you write or not write the message on the wall? Uh... What? I did write the message, but right now I don't know what message I wrote. It's in her, like, uh, when you're looking for the bottles, uh, she they wrote on the wall, and it was like, Taylor was here, or she writes, <gasps> Rachel was yes, here. Yes, yes. I did, I did. And I guiltily, Max is like, well, I don't know if I should, like, assume that I can write here, but, like, I'm here, aren't I? You know, like, she says the commentary, but, like, I yeah. still did it. I would have done it. I would have put it over Rachel's name. <laughs> Scratch did out. You not, did you no. not find of that or I, do it? I wrote it. Yeah, I wrote the message. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so well, there must have been multiple ways to save Chloe, right? Yeah, because how could you have saved her without tampering with the rail tracks? So, because there's that wire spool. Did you see that up top? Yeah, I knocked it down. And what happened? It 
broke the like it like hit the bar that moves the train tracks and knocked it away and so she like and then the train goes past well then it like she was able to free her foot because the like train was switched to the other track and so the track moved and it released her foot and i pulled her out of the track before the train hit her okay so you tampered with the tracks well first i went to the like fuse box and i was like i need something to cut these wires but when i went up to the shed i found the crowbar and the pliers or the wire cutters. But the second I come out of there, there's this big wire spool and it was just way faster to just knock that down. Yeah. Um, I don't hate Rachel. I just think it'd be really funny Did to you... like write my name over hers. <laughs> Sorry. I was answering chat real quick. No, you're fine. No. Yeah. I think it would be funny to do that. I don't, <laughs> I don't hate Rachel, but Chloe does call Rachel her angel. So I don't oh, know if you have a shot with definitely her. Definitely. Like, well, she's dead first of all. Okay. <laughs> you can call her whatever you want, but so, she's dead. <laughs> so you're reassuring me that you do have a shot because her girlfriend's dead. You think that, you know, the, the yep. distraught card, you're going to play the distraught card. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> do you just troll funerals in your free time? <laughs> oh. Listen, I don't want to get too into it, but I just finished the last season of Sailor Moon and you find out that Mama is dead and Sailor Moon's all distraught because she starts having feelings for somebody else and she's guilty about it the whole time. And I'm like, he's dead! Go for it! <laughs> but she doesn't really, know he's dead. <laughs> you want to find a great way to get a date? <laughs> Go to Facebook Marketplace and search wedding no! dresses. <laughs> and then from there, just sort by size. Oh! <laughs> it's so bad! Oh. Okay. But anyways, so I want to get back to this railroad thing because... I didn't do the, I didn't knock that down. I like went over there. I unlocked all the pieces, realized that I was going to do something. So I went back down and cut the wire and didn't tamper with the tracks because she unlocks oh. it. She gets out and then she pulls it back and keeps the train on track. Oh, so you didn't tamper with the tracks. I didn't. I wonder what that is going to lead to. Cause after I did tamper with the tracks, she was like, like, oh, this will have consequences. how is the firehouse going to get its logs if you sent the train with the logs to the wrong place or some shit? It was some like, they're never going to get their logs now. And I was like, I didn't know that that one train of logs was like the end all the time. It was all the logs. <laughs> the whole village, the whole town is without firewood now for the rest of time. I don't know what happened. She said something about the fire mill or the sawmill. And I was like, eh, <laughs> it was like. Who cares about the corporation? What are you supposed to do? So the next two decisions that happened, I didn't even realize that I wasn't a part of the decision making because this oh, no. must be on her way to class. I think I just like ran to class because she's like, you've got time to look around. And I like kind of looked around. I was like, yeah, nobody seems really that great. And then I like went and fucking talked to the cop and I was like, I'm going to class. Yeah. So there was the table set up with the Vortex Club party like chick. Yeah, I didn't even see that. I see the photo of it now, but I didn't even see it. So I did not get entry to the club. Like, I did party. not get entry either, but it's because I like went up to the table and I was like, hey there. And she was like, uh, what are you doing here? And I was like, I, I just wanted to chat. And she was like, well, I can't talk to you unless you're here to beg entrance to the Vortex Club. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. She was like, okay, bye. I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to go grovel at your shitty fucking stand. I don't give a fuck about your shit party. So I guess we're not going to the party. Listen, I already have plans to go on a date with Warren. I'm busy. I'm scheduled. I'm going to the Halloween party and I'm going on a date. My weekend's full. <laughs> um, okay. I, since I didn't talk to anybody in the hallway, I also didn't run into Warren. I was looking around for Warren and I didn't find him. I didn't realize he would be in a classroom. So I never yeah, found he him. He was like, I'm in the science lab. I went and found um, the lab. Yeah. I didn't get, I've been really bad at texting. It's like real life. <laughs> <laughs> I did go find him in the science lab and it actually took like, um, um, like it was a big, several step process to help him and it's not clear at all. And I wandered around the fucking science lab for a fucking ever and he needed to help with this experiment and we kept doing it wrong and I had to keep rewinding. And finally I realized I had to go up to the fucking teacher and ask for help from her. And then when I went back to help him, I got him the right answer. And so then I got to take a picture of like his science experiment and he was like super cute. So I did help Warren. That's cute. I didn't. I never found him. Yeah. I, I, um, did you tell on David to Mr. Jefferson? You answer first! I did. Yeah, I did too. I was like, I did it, and I was like, I knew that Dre wasn't in chat at this moment, because I could hear <laughs> her going, you snitch. fucking snitch! snitch. <laughs> I gotta call you snitch. Did I say snatch? Whoops. She's not gonna call you a snitch. <laughs> yeah! 
As I was like, first of all, I'm trying to get real close to Mr. Robinson. Okay, I want him to Jefferson know. Jefferson Corey. I want him to know. I, know his name. I am trying to seduce him. I am Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> you have to learn his name before you try to seduce him. You can't yell, oh, Mr. Robinson in bed. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> Professor Jefferson. <laughs> He's not gonna be down. <laughs> he might be. I don't know. <laughs> there it is. You snitched again. We Snip. both snitched, okay? okay? And it's fine because we're trying to get in good with Mr. Hottie okay. McHot. <laughs> also, um, yeah, dude, that was hilarious because I'm like sitting there to, like trying to talk to him because I figured the more that I start to like get people to like be on my side and validating my word. Eventually, like, when people start knowing, be like, oh, I heard that everywhere. Like, if you start hearing about a gun over here and I got drugged over there, be like, that guy's bad news, you know? And first of all, he's all, like, money and rap and daddy texted me. Guess what, bitch? I'm taking you down, okay? I'm gonna tell everybody all your dirty secrets. I don't give a fuck, okay? Yeah, I um, I definitely did snitch on, on David, and I have proof, and he said he'd take it to the prof the teacher whatever principal but then directly after that it seems like a moot point because the whole suicide deal so uh, like you ended up using your proof directly to the principal which seems like a way more direct better response because i didn't i just showed my proof to or i talked about my proof to mr jefferson and then it didn't even matter because she's dead and i didn't even accuse david in the room i accused nathan like I like Professor Robinson better. It's it's not right in any capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Professor <laughs> Robinson. <laughs> it's not it's not quite. I'm so into it. I don't know why. I just I I love every bit of it. I think it's hilarious. Show me your a Lincoln Memorial a oh, wink. <laughs> it's so uh... good. Out of time. So you're look out of time. Why? Because like you can't keep rewinding at the final scene so like you're out of time like you have to make the right choices to save her that's the whole out of time reference i guess it doesn't let you do that stats. that was frustrating hang on if you click friend stats it changes your percentage oh uh, oh look okay so world stats versus friend stats i can see what my friends who've played this game have done uh, what percentages have I been reading? Pro the world stats. Because those were oh. what I could see. Dude, 100% <laughs> of my friends erased Kate's video. Nobody left that shit up. I mean, I think we all understand how <laughs> the internet is. <laughs> I know, right? All of my friends are from online, and so everybody instantly was like, fuck you. Granted, this is more, this takes place in 2013, and it's 2022, so in nine years, the internet's evolved quite a bit. Um, but still. Still. I don't know. Apparently, all my friends are snitches. Because 87% <laughs> of my friends told them <laughs> Mr. Ch uh, fucking Professor Robinson. Oh my goodness. All right. What a good time. Good time. This was a big episode. A lot of stuff happened. So much stuff. I'm going on. So I have so many social plans from this episode alone. <laughs> I almost wish I was going to the party so I could have more social plans. But so far, I'm just going on a date and going to a Halloween party. I agreed to go to the... Did you talk to Dana and agreed to go to the Halloween party? She agreed to like help yes, you find a costume? I did do that. Okay, yeah. So we will be going to the party. Um, I also kind of figured, I kind of, I know how you play a little bit, so I made choices that I think, I tried to do some choices that, like, shoot or don't shoot. I was like, Ken's going to play it safe here. There's no way Ken's going to be like, pull the trigger! <laughs> I just don't I feel... I was going to, I was so mad at that guy, but then it was like, I didn't want to have, like, this crazy knife guy coming after me. Yeah, 2022 Kate has got an OnlyFans and she puts she puts out her own links. She put a link there herself. Yo, yeah, she's she, yeah, and she actually secretly wrote uh, God's Loophole. <laughs> we're gonna watch we're gonna watch gorilla movies together and cuddle in his car. We have social plans. What just happened? 
I was saying that earlier. I was like, I have social plans. I don't have time for the Vortex Club. I'm going to be busy at the drive-in and going to a Halloween party. Wow. Lame. I have a social calendar now. Very busy. Very oh. full. I have several mixers I will be attending. Also, when I didn't answer Kate's call, I was like, I think this will be really interesting to see what happens because I was like, there's no way that Ken's not going to answer sad girl call. She's going to be like, fuck you, Chloe. I've got a girl's life to save. <laughs> I am glad we have different stuff happening because I really want to get to see like, as much of the game as I can. And so it's really cool that we're doing stuff differently. That, I was actually kind of worried about, because on the roof, I was like, damn it, I said all these same questions as you. Like, she's going to die and we both are going to have Kate dead. I'm kind of glad that you got somehow you weaseled an answer where Kate's still alive. Yo, I want to see how that affects saved me. saved and killed together? We're going to totally get to see Kate's story. Well, I mean, you won't get to see shit. Kate's dead. You fucking killed her. <laughs> you let her die. She got... Like date raped, but not so even cool. raped, and then she still you still let her die. Like I you know who so let her cool. die? Her parents for make her brainwashing her to thinking that a video of her making out with a boy at a party is worth taking your life over. Your Did fucking you parents see killed you. That note her aunt mailed. Yeah, her? you're. She's oh like you're a God. sinner, fucking burning in hellfire. I hope Jesus for. Let's you like repent for your sins or something. I thought that was so fucked up. I was like, this is your like, this is your like home life. This is so bad. <laughs> it's like you like, oh my goodness, poor that poor girl. No wonder she killed herself. I know. And her mom sends her a letter too, and being like, "All right, did you go through her computer and see the email that her mom sent her?" I did go through her computer, but it didn't stand out to me as much as that letter from her aunt. Uh, well, she doesn't, like, comment on it, but her mom says, uh, your principal contacted me about a video. Oh, yeah. And her mom's like, I really hope that. And her mom says some mean shit, too. That's why when I was like, shit, who am I? Like, her, I didn't know she had a sister. So I think that's a fake answer. I think if you click on your sister, she'll be like, you don't know me at all. Like, I don't have any sisters. No, she does. There, If you looked at the oh. family photo on the wall, she has sisters. Okay. I wasn't sure about her having a brother, but I remember with the photo she had sisters. I actually didn't choose father. I chose sisters, and I she was like, "You're right. If they were here, they would want me to step down." Like they. So would... sisters and father get her to like think about. Well, she someone. was like really sweet and nice after that, and then after that question was the Bible verse question, and I chose the one without realizing it that that was the one she had like scratched out. Should have thought that through because both Bible verses were in her Bible. But the one about justice, she had like scratched over. But I wasn't thinking. I was like, "Oh, she's gonna want justice for her you, you like the went, video." Like you knew. Did you know what both those proverbs were without having to like? No, no, no. I just it read up. it in her Bible and remembered. Okay. Okay. I don't have like, the Bible memorized, Corey. I'm not that good. <laughs> well, I mean, like a lot of like like I don't know. Like a lot of religious people have like lots of proverbs that stand out to them, and like like what's the like John two sixteen or something is like like. There's some, like, really popular ones that... The people... Lord's Prayer is a very popular one. I think it... that's John 3.16. Ah, see? I'm so close. <laughs> that's, I think that's the only one, though, that I know off the top of my head. I don't know anything. I mean, I I could probably get there's, part of, like... There's the, uh, there's one that's, like, a forgiveness one that they do in AA that's really popular. I know the one that's, like, love is patient, love is kind, love does not easily anger... It takes no record of wrong, something, something. But I don't know where to find that in the Bible. I just know that quote. Yeah. And only because it's a song that I had to sing when I was 12 in that little church choir I was in. Yeah, but <laughs> what the is that? The <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Love is patient. Because <laughs> he's on the roof, she's like, I will save you. <laughs> yeah, I got that one down, sort of. <laughs> Clearly not very well. <laughs> Oh no! Dude, no record of wrong. <laughs> the options on that though is like one of them's her mother, and I was like, we're definitely not gonna do that. Talk about her. She's gonna be like, ah! and just turn around and jump if you mention her fucking aunt or her mom in that sentence. Hey, no, I saw the mom and I was like, er, it's either dad or sisters, and I was like, I don't even think she has brothers. I think it was, I think it was father or sisters. Like we both picked one of the right answers. Eh? <laughs> <Phew>. <laughs> Yeah, don't mention her fucking aunt. She's gonna just kill herself right, right as fast as she can. Crass, like I know the whole Bible. <laughs> I was like, wait. Good luck getting past like Exodus and Leviticus and Numbers. Those are all just rules and laws. It's just every <laughs> verse is a rule or a law. It's terrible, terrible <laughs> reading content. <laughs> Ooh, First Corinthians. Yeah, Dre, did you Google it or do you just know that? 
I think that we know great. some of them. I feel like I've heard Dre talk about a few Bible verses before. Not that I would take her to church, but... <laughs> <laughs> You one time we were doing a trivia game and it was like one of the first five books of the Bible and she guessed like one of five. <laughs> oh boy. I thought that she got them all. No, that was me. <laughs> oh, I was like, well, I, I, see, there's no way Ken doesn't know at least the books of the Bible. If you were like, you could just shut up asking me like, is fucking, give me any name of any white man ever. Like, is he in the Bible? I'd be like, maybe. <laughs> I, did Josh make it? I don't know. <laughs> no I idea. Josh in the, Joshua in the Battle of Jericho. He's in there. See? <laughs> I didn't even call him Joshua. <laughs> oh, <you're so> <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough therapists with the posters on the wall. All right. Dre's had a good exposure. <laughs> <laughs> you should oh, not God. think it. <laughs> uh, take me to church. I worship at the. What's that song? It's <laughs> a take good song. Take me to church. I'll worship like. <laughs> Dog at the shroud of your lies. No, I love the song by Lana Del Rey where she's like, Dear Lord, when I get to heaven, please let me bring my man. <laughs> she's like, I'm dating a piece of shit, but can I bring him to heaven with me? <laughs> okay, but the Take Me to Church song is about being gay. Oh, is it? See, yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> he says, uh, we, uh, we were born sick. I heard them say it. Oh, I yeah. that. We don't very different, very different either. messages. Yeah, it's like, uh, what, uh, let me tell you my sins while you sharpen your knives. Oh, yes. To offer me that uh, deathless I death. That. <laughs> I didn't think it was a religious song in any means, but I didn't realize it was like the <laughs> anti-religious song. <laughs> no, it's like, take me to church because I'm not getting into heaven. It's like, fuck you. Yeah. That's funny. That's good. It's a good song. I like it. Oh, man. Okay, well, chapter episode that... two was cool, but I let Kate die, so that was stressful. Okay, I didn't think I was going to get a chance to save her, and so I just lost my shit when I came around the corner and saw her jump, and I was like... Dude, and then you try to rewind, and you can only run two seconds, and you just watch her die, like, three <laughs> times in a row. <laughs> Get out of here! This is bad. Like all you can do is just keep watching her kill. <laughs> it's so oh my god! Oh my goodness! It's so it's stressful. Just... And then you it's... had to watch her kill herself again. Oh, that freaks me out. Oh, I can't just see if she's like a part of the story after this. So like, I want to see if, like how prevalent she is. Like that's how I always feel whenever I play these games. Like the first time I think I played uh, Until Dawn, I killed Jessica off in like the first five seconds. Like, yeah, I have yeah. no idea where that bitch went. What are you going to do? <laughs> you gonna do? Oh, man. I surprised everyone by killing off, like, a huge group of people in one go. But then at the very end, there's this one random guy who was left alone in the caves with the Wendigos. And no one apparently ever saves him, statistically. And I totally did. So, like... I, I make weird calls. <laughs> I you found very the fucking weird. journal, didn't you? The one got Josh can only be saved by reading the like, Sam like uh, what's her name's journal. You have to like while you're on a course in the pond, you have to like go off to the railing and find his d fucking sister before she becomes a cannibal's journal. And if you I read that then journal, yeah, I did find that's a journal. how you. If you don't find that journal, then he dies. That's the only way to save him. Oh, that's hilarious. That's, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I also saved the guy in the tunnel, though, at the end when the Wendigo's chasing him and you have to hide, like, three times in a row. Yeah, with Jess. Well, if yeah. you save Jessica, he does that whole scene with Jessica. Oh, it wasn't Jess. It was somebody else that no, I no, saved. No, they scene. do it together. That scene they'll do together. Oh, but I let Jess die in the beginning. Yeah, I've, I've, I've played it twice. Be well, yeah, i played <laughs> oh it twice now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I did find the anyway. So I got like the random save, yeah. but like the the non-random, like pretty obvious saves, I did not get. I I blew the whole house this smithereen. Uh, you ran out. You're like, oh, I'll, get, I'll set this whole place on fire. Kills everyone. Like, I just okay. wanted to save Hayden Panettiere and then leave, and that's what I did. So Sam's impossible. Like, I don't think you can even kill Sam. Honestly, I think she just survives all the time. Oh well, she survived <laughs> in my playthrough. That's all I wanted. I was like, this is all I care about, <laughs> So I got it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I am exhausted. I'm going to go to bed, but... That was so wow. good. I had a great so time today. Too. Same. Ready for um, another one tomorrow? Or do you need a break? You... No, I'd like to do one tomorrow. Uh, 
are we thinking similar time? But can we perchance maybe accomplish yeah, our goal? Yeah, I will. A I will wear thing? red eyeshadow. It took me hours to get it together. I'm so sorry. I, I can't even tell you. I put on four different wigs today. I tried a blonde one. I did two different red. I have three wigs. I like. I almost took all my makeup off and tried again, and that, it was a hard day to be Corey. Okay. You're totally fine. I I spent an hour trying to get the game to load because I was gonna play the remastered version because Kraft was gonna and let me you borrow his game. the whole other chapter. I played the whole other chapter in the remastered version, so I could play chapter two. And I can't fucking stream it and play it at the same time. It's like too hard on my graphics card. So instead, I played it on Dre's. Thanks, Dre. I'm so glad that all of you have this game. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Because the original version does not slow me down. <laughs> I'm like so. playing the game, and all I see is Ken is like, uh, Yandere is not playing Life is Strange. Pokecan is not playing Life is Strange. Yandere is not playing Life is Strange. I spent an hour okay. and a half trying to get my shit together. <laughs> so I actually closed stream and restarted stream so that I wouldn't have like an hour and a half of bullshit on my VOD. <laughs> Very nice. You're like, fuck this shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Anyways, it was perfect though. The second time through, we got there. We got it all done. So. I heard but I just think it was funny that it. even after all my bullshit and me playing the whole episode, like three and a half hours after we had planned to start, Corey went live and I was like, awesome. <laughs> I knew I was late when Drea, so Drea and I were like getting ready together, right? We're like doing our thing. And then she goes, oh, I have to go. I'm late. And I was like, oh no. Okay, I'm so late. We'll do, late. Tomorrow. we'll do better tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> I will. No red eyeshadow. I'll be there. Okay, you got a deal. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Court, I'm excited for the sequel. What sequel? Oh, Until Dawn sequel. I know. Yeah, Have you heard about that? Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I guess we'll play David Arquette in the sequel. Wait, is David Arquette in there? That'd be great. Yeah. I'd love that. It's going to be epic. It's going to be good. I'm going to go to bed. Have a great night, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. Thanks for I'm hanging out. Right here. My eyes are already closed. We'll see you tomorrow, guys.